My name's Ben, and today we've got this fabulous 2018 on an 18 registration C7 Audi RS6 Performance. These have got such a good following, and it's easy to see why, because in terms of practicality and performance and price range, there's probably nothing that comes close. Uh, they're unbelievably good cars, over 605 horsepower in these cars, uh, in, a, in what is essentially a family estate car, an Audi A6. So they're incredible cars, incredible value at the price point that they're at these days. And being a 2018 model, this is the last of the C7 generation, uh, so quite a popular age to go for. It's finished in, in our opinion, the best color of Panther Black Schwartz. So it's a metallic black, which when you look at it under certain lights, almost looks a bit purpley. Um, again, really popular color for these with full leather interior in black as well. And we'll walk around the car and point out some options for you. Uh, but just to sort of summarize some of the key bits, it's a full service history on the car, uh, only the most recent service not being at an Audi main dealer, being at an Audi specialist, but all on the Audi system. Uh, and just over 60,000 miles from new. Uh, so starting at the front end, obviously we've got the RS6 badge in the grille, which is really nice to see. Uh, obviously front and rear park assist with a reverse camera, but we'll show you that as we get around the back. And then we've got the Matrix LED headlights. So they've got an LED daytime running light through there as well. And they are Matrix lights, so they will do the high beam automatically for you. Uh, coming around the side, in my opinion, the better looking 21 inch RS performance wheels. Uh, so diamond cut on the faces and then a gloss black on the inserts. Uh, again, like I say, there's a couple of different wheel options you can have on this car, but we really like this particular wheel. The black RS calipers with the RS logo on them there as well. And we've got these sort of satin gray effects to the trim. So the window surrounds, the front grille surrounds, uh, the door mirrors, and then the roof bars across the top as well. It's keyless entry, so if you had a key in your pocket, you can just pull the door handle and it will open up. And then have a look at the fabulous inside. We've got the Audi Sport drop lights on the floors and then that full leather interior with the carbon fiber trims, which again makes a big difference. Being an RS car, in our opinion, you want those carbon fiber trims. The large opening glass panoramic roof, a very important option uh, for one of these cars. And then again, that honeycomb stitching in the seats. Illuminated RS6 door entry plates. And as I said before, those beautiful Audi Sport drop lights. Privacy glass on the rear three quarters. And then have a look in the back as well. Heated rear seats, four zone climate control. There's lots of space in the back of these cars. Like I say, in terms of a, a high performance family car, they don't come much better than these RS6s. And obviously being in a, an estate, there's so much space in the back, a very practical car. So coming round the back, You've got just the button on the boot to push that and the boot opens up electrically. And the boots are really clever in these RS6s. So you've got an automatic parcel shelf which moves out the way for you. Then you've got this sort of load system that you can have in the boot. So under the boot floor here, there's various different rails that you can put in or various different hooks that you can put into the rails on either side. There's a net there as well and then another load net down there. So everything is with this car. Um, I think Audi call it the load pack in the boot. So it just makes tying things down in the boot a lot easier, especially if you are using it for those adventurous trips. Uh, button on the boot there to shut that down reverse camera on the boot lid there. And then obviously being an RS car, the iconic oval exhaust pipes on either side with a big diffuser section. And again, that satin gray trims across the top of that diffuser section. It's a great looking car. Obviously being an RS car, some very flared arches compared to a standard A6 as well. And then I'll jump inside and we'll talk through some of the interior options. So starting on the driver's door card, it's beautifully soft Nappa leather everywhere that you touch. So on your armrest here and the grab handle, power folding heated door mirrors, and then memory settings for the driver's seat up here. So two different memory settings there, all electrically adjustable as you would expect. And that also saves the door mirror position as well. And that's sunk into this beautiful gloss carbon fiber trims in the door cards. Alcantara on the inner sections here. And then the Bose surround sound system in the tweeters in the doors down there as well. You've got, also got a boot release down there. And I'll fire the car up. So keyless start as well. So just foot on the brake, push the button and that four litre V8 fires into life. It's a beautifully smooth engine with incredible performance. Like I say, over 600 horsepower in this car. 
We've got an electric adjustable steering wheel, so that will come forwards, backwards, up and down, all on the small dial behind the steering wheel. It's flat bottom to allow for easy access. It's also perforated leather as well, just to make it feel nicer when you're holding it. Some big shift paddles behind the steering wheel if you're driving the car in sports or manual mode, and then obviously multifunction controls. So on the left-hand side, we can control our sort of semi-virtual cockpit in the center here. So we can have a navigation map on there. So if I just skip through these uh, messages, because obviously we've got the door open, you'll see we've got a navigation map there. And if I just zoom that out for you, if you're using the car's sat nav, you can see it directly in front of you. And it will also give you some of the direction prompts on the heads up display, which is in front of me. You can see on the top of the dashboard here where that heads up display is, because you wouldn't have this section here if, um, if it was a car without a heads up display. And that's adjusted via this silver button down here. So you can turn it on and off by pressing that and you can change the height by twisting that left and right. Obviously, auto lights for those matrix lights that we touched on before, and that brings on the cockpit background lighting as well. We've got a drive select shortcut button on the steering wheel here, so I can press that and then switch between comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual modes as well. The car does have a dynamic package, uh, which is a cost option over and above a standard RS6 performance. Down behind the left-hand side of the steering wheel, we've got the cruise control stalk down there as well. And then you just push the headlights away to turn the matrix beam on, and we've got a little automatic headlight light button down there just to tell you that it is on the automatic high beam. Coming across to the MMI system in the center, we do have, again, the navigation map on here, which is nice and easy to see, and you can use that very easily. If I pop the car into reverse, we have that reverse camera that pops up and we've got 360 degree parking sensors around the car. So if somebody's walking to the side, it will sense down there as well. It's very clever how that works. And then coming down the center, we have park assist, which again is a cost option on an RS6. And that's that button there next to the start, stop and park sensor buttons. And then we've got heated seats for the front and rear, as we've already touched on, four zone climate control, lots of storage under these uh, sections, cubby holes. Again, all beautiful gloss carbon around this control section here with a gear stick and the navigation uh, buttons. Start stop button, more cup holders under here and storage under the armrest as well. So there's storage everywhere you look, USB ports under there. And I'll just turn the car off. Uh, in fact, before I do that, I'll open the panoramic roof so you can see what that looks like when it is open because we've got this sort of wind deflector section that comes up at the front and I'll just turn the car off and jump outside and summarize. So as you can see hopefully from walking around the car it's in stunning condition for a car of this age and mileage with a full service history beautifully looked after and a fabulous specification over and above a standard RS6 performance. My name's Ben, I hope the video has helped and thank you very much for watching.